Well, nice designs. Yes. You know, our designers just keep getting better. Uh -huh. And Nigerian designers are very talented. Yeah, so well are. done, guys. Anyway, still staying in Lagos, we hit the red carpet for the premiere of the movie 7 to 6. Take a look. The red carpet is set and the show came alive at the premiere of the much-talked-about movie, 76. The Izu Ojuku directed movie becomes a toast of film lovers, attracting several celebrities and public figures from different walks of life. This is Zero Alpha. A message from Captain Joseph Dewa, NOP 125 of 702 BS. It's very, very urgent and confidential. We want to tell a historical film because uh, we realize that we have little respect for history in this part of the world. And uh, if a man doesn't know where he's coming from, his destination is in trouble. So, and, and we, so, so what we're trying to do is uh, tell stories around historical event and make them appealing to this generation. That's the reason for 76. And then also, uh, we, 76 highlights the plight of the officer's wife. Uh, they often neglected uh, people in the society. We, of, we celebrate soldiers sometimes, but uh, their wives are actually the true heroes. So this is a way of bringing into light one aspect of a particular set of people in our lives that we often neglect. There's no need for you to be scared. You know how much I love you. We continue. 76 parades an amazing array of top Nollywood stars with a lead actress played by Rita Dominic. Her character, Susie, was a fiancé to the military captain who was caught up in a web of intrigue following an attempt to save the father of her baby. This is a high-profile operation. Five VIPs have been slated. Um, first and foremost, I mean, it was a period film. I'd never done a period film before, shooting, 19, shooting 76. And um, the fact that my character was a very, it was a very emotional role, and I had to stay in that emotional space for as long as six months because that's how long it took us to film, you know? And um, you see, for me, I think I'm at a point in my career where I just like to do characters that are very outside the box, characters that are totally different from me in real life. Making a 1976 film today is a huge challenge on its own because one, we don't have a, an environment like a film village where you're working and everything is working for you. You are now going to move into the street where every modern day element is staring at you whichever way you point your camera at. So that's actually uh, one of the major challenges, getting all the vintage properties back, try to make everything look believable in today is a huge challenge on its own. The movie we took about seven years to make seeks to tell our own story to the world and some of the cast are indeed delighted to be part of the project, which they say was very challenging. Now begins to look more and more like a straightforward military revolt. We had like two months, about two to three months of, you know, military training, getting coordination of your, um, your, your how to march, how to greet, <laughs> um, the military state of mind at the time, because then they were they were proper, they were prim, they were like like a desical. They were at the time military was mili was like pretty strong, you know that's the way. And and the director wanted us to get in that military state of mind, so it took us like two three months of rigorous training and drilling. You know, we were drilled, we jumped hurdles and did all those things. It was right in the military bar barracks, Mokola barracks to be precise. We had a proper sergeant, a real sergeant, who drilled us. So it was, yeah, it was uh, it was quite um, exciting. At the same time, it was fun. Uh, I wasn't just looking for anybody. I was looking for consummate artists, people who will stay through the canteen. This this is a period piece. Uh, it needs diligent actors to bring those complex characters to life. So I chose my cast carefully. Over time, we worked. You know, sometimes I think some of them were on the project for like two, three years. They were waiting for a production schedule for shoot. It didn't happen, but we kept working. We maintained good relationship. 
sending, exchanging emails, and then talking about the character. So I was confident in the guys who I brought in to deliver uh, these characters uh, we have in the film. So. I, I play Eunice. Um, Eunice is married to a military man. Um, the husband, Adoza, I think she's a very sport woman. She loves herself. She, she knows she's beautiful. She has that so much confidence. And she is there to be able to show everybody around her that she's beautiful. And her husband adores her. So what can you do to her? What is my husband's name? 76. A love story embedded in treason, intrigue, patriotism and faith is set in Ibadan, Nigeria. Against the backdrop of transition and the struggle for political stability in 1976 and is inspired by real-life events that led to the assassination of the then head of state. I can't continue to play this game with you. Was your husband here that night? No! It's going to be one of the Nollywood films that will, uh, how do I put it now, make people to believe more in the industry. This is a movie Nigerians should go and see because putting together this kind of piece is not easy uh, considering uh, the country we live in and, and all of that. Yeah, so it's a great movie. I'm so glad and I'm happy and I say kudos to the producer, to the EP, the executive producer, to the actors. I think they did really well. The reader was totally on point. Ramsey was off the chain. Um, 76, a great movie. I think everyone should see it. Okay? See it. <laughs> The movie 76 is among Nigerian films that screened at this year's Toronto International Film Festival, London Film Festival, and also premiered in Europe at the prestigious BFI London Film Festival. It's scheduled to open across cinemas in Nigeria later this month. You know how much I love you. We continue to suffer in silence out of sheer loyalty to this nation. And this is your best way to handle this. This guy is a snitch. We shouldn't take any